Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Vel Hells Here 3. Guys, today it is time for auto crafting. Yep, we're going to be getting into it today, as you can see from the title. It's pretty lit. We're going to go ahead and get started. I went ahead down here and I created a room for us. Look at this boom over here. It's pretty neat. All it's got here is just this little access point for refined storage and so we're gonna get started here we're also gonna be punching this up of one block so don't don't worry it's it's gonna get taller actually a bad idea wouldn't be to go down a few blocks Ooh, have like a stairway going down Oop, gonna do it much better okay so let's get into the part that you all really want to talk about and want to do i uh, can go ahead and get rid of all that stuff for now let's get into refined storage Auto crafting, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay. So we need to go ahead and make quite a few of these up. To go ahead and make 32 of each. And I did go ahead and make quite a bunch of these, uh, the iron processors off camera. Uh, yeah, basic processors. I did make quite a few of those. Uh, so we can go ahead here. Okay. And then we'll make a bunch of this guy. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make up all these crafters. Beautiful. So we have 32. We're going to put that one back for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a bunch of cable as well. Uh, and we already went ahead and made the pattern grid a long time ago. Uh, but now that we have this, we can go ahead and make some good stuff. Now we need to go ahead and make some processors real quick. We're going to get up to 64Ks. All right, so we got a total of two of these bad boys. Actually, let's go ahead and make up a few more. I'm going to run out of glass before anything else. All right, so we got a total of these four 64K storage parts, and we're going to combine these guys up into something like this. And then we go ahead, and these will handle all of the processing that we got going on. All right, so now that we have pretty much everything that we need for auto crafting, we're going to go ahead and set up the crafters in a certain way. Um, let's see here. Trying to decide if I want the crafting on this wall or crafting in these two little pillar things here. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna throw these guys here, the storage blocks, which will be like the crafting storage. So those hold on to the Whatever's being crafted. Uh, so everything like, say you need like a thousand pieces of glass for a crafting recipe and auto crafting. These will hold all of those items while you're waiting for that, while they're waiting to be crafted. So let's go ahead here and we'll just set these guys up. Okay, okay. So let's go here and here. We're going to bring this pillar up. I'm going to see if I can make this look good. The, pro the thing about uh, me and uh, craft, like, auto crafting setups is I don't want these things to look terrible. Um, I find that a lot of people just end up like throwing these together and I'm just not a big fan of that. I want it to look good when I'm done. I mean this is auto crafting but this, this stuff's supposed to be real neat right? How neat is that? It's pretty neat. So I'll go ahead and break this guy and then can I just do this? I sure can. These are gonna be our little auto crafting towers. You guys can use this if you want, but if you use it in the video, make sure you give me a shout out. I'm just kidding, I don't really need it. Anyway, so, there we go. That's good, so we're gonna have a, 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 a I can't speak. We're gonna have a, another one over here that looks the exact same. All right, we won't be able to finish this one uh, in this clip, but I do plan on finishing it today. All right, so these are our auto crafting towers, very neato. All right, so we only got two left. Perfect, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to, for one, break this cable. We don't want it showing here. And we're gonna run one underneath. And it's going to split right here. Just like so. And we're gonna have this full thing kinda, all right, so these should be online. Yep, it's, oh uh, well. Yeah, they're definitely online. I can't tell you why I know that, I just know. Oh wait, we need to... We're gonna have a lot more of these. I think we're gonna just kinda have them come out over here and then we'll 
we'll do something else. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to design this. Boom, that works. Boom, that works. All right, cool beans. So, all right, so I found out what we're gonna do with these guys real quick. Yeah, see that connected them all together? Very cool. So now each of these is a separate crafting thing that we can use. They can use each of those. So now, uh, I don't know if we have a, a, like a crafter grid. Let me check here. Okay, so we do have a crafter manager and I'm pretty sure this is the right thing, but we're gonna go ahead and move this disk drive, disk drive for a little bit. Yes, okay. So this will let us see all of the different recipes we can have in our crafter at one time. We're gonna actually have quite a few of these around as well as different crafting grids. I think we're gonna try to move one into each room. Uh, but before we do that, these are all good to go. All right, we don't need that anymore. We need to start worrying about patterns. Uh, do, do. Patterns, these boys here. Boom. We need these. We need lots of these. We got five. Woof. I need to set up sand to be auto-collected by our uh, our guy. So patterns, do, 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 do. All right, so these can go up into our pattern grid. If we come over here, we throw these guys over here, and now we can start to make some recipes. Now, what's the one that we use a lot? Um, let's go ahead and automate the ca whoops, the cables from here. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of those. Let's get the glass. Yep, because this is what we're gonna be using. So we'll go bing bong. There we go, exact, boom. So this takes quartz and iron, glass and redstone and creates the, uh, the, the cables. So the next thing we wanna go ahead and make is the quartz enriched iron. Bam, that's made up. Uh, let's go ahead and make these different processors. I know we, don't, we won't be able to craft this one just yet because it is kind of blocked off. Uh, but now if we do that, we are good. We have the recipe. Let's go ahead and have a, a pattern for patterns. All right, so we got a full stack there. That's perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and just do this. All right, so each of these, as you can see, each of the different processors or patterns. Yeah, these are the processors have been made. We, we're not going to automate the smelting of this just yet. We're going to work on that later. Uh, but that's been made. Don't need to worry about the silicone as of yet. Don't need to worry about those. Let's go ahead and make the 1K drive, the 4K drive, the 16K drive, and the 64K drive. Now these will be auto-crafted. Now, well, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to set this up. It's a zombie. Oh, guys, I didn't show you this, but I, I made my uh, my sword a uh, netherite one, and we also got capturing two on another uh, diamond sword before I upgraded it, so I went ahead and changed that. So that guy's kind of close, but we aren't gonna worry about him. So what I like to do here for the crafters is I will put, um, say for the, the 1K drives, I won't put each of these in the same one because I want this one to be working on only 64Ks, this one to be working on 16Ks, uh, this one to be working on 4Ks, this one to be working on 1Ks. I don't want this one to have to craft all the 1Ks and then all the 4Ks and then all the 16Ks. This way it should be much faster. And then we will also do the same where we kind of split these guys up and eventually, these will be all crafted separately from one another. And we can also go ahead and see these all from the pattern manager. See, if we look here, you can see that these are in different spots. Even though these are all lined up together, they come across in different areas uh, across all these. Now you can rename each of these to be, like we can la la name all the ones in one column to column, column one or column two, stuff like that. And you you'll be able to see that here. So that's very cool. Let's see how many times we, how many 64Ks we can craft up. So we don't have any in our system now, but if we go ahead and go like this, we can see that we are missing arcane glass. Whose pattern is messed up? Arcane glass, pattern, you're not it. Okay, so as, as we can see, we found out that this is the, uh, the culprit. Uh, so we go here, here, here. Arcane glass, we don't want that. We just want normal glass. This is a common issue. If we go here like this to the exact, it will allow us to not have to have the exact recipes there, uh, but ones that we can go ahead and craft. So as you can see, that one just takes 
Uh, arcane glass again. Let's see if that works at all. I don't know because I I just I didn't check the exact. Yes, okay. So it's going to use anything that can be substituted in for it. So let's go ahead and get this processed. Now it's probably going to be pretty slow because we don't have a lot going on. But let's see if we can find which one of these storage parts or storage areas that this is in. Okay, I don't think it's any of them. It might be already done. We're going to need to make a crafting monitor as well. That will allow us to obviously monitor our crafts. But if we type 64K, I'm pretty sure it's done. Yeah, so as you can see, this one is done. It's pretty neato. If we go like this, I can go ahead and do this. And we've just expanded our storage. We used our storage to expand our storage. Pretty neato, huh? All right, so I think a very useful thing to go ahead and automate next is going to be our glass crafting. <laughs> glass seems to be the bane of our existence right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that up just a little bit. We're also gonna go ahead and finish these guys off real fast. All right, I did go ahead and make a few more. Oh, not you, not there. Oh, uh, not you. No. No. Okay, so we might need to turn that with a wrench because I don't like the look of that. Look at that, that's pointing in together. Very cool, very cool. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and that's where that is. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and sink these back kind of into the wall a little bit. Okay, so this is where this is, where we have power coming in. We have any power tap anywhere? Okay, we might just need to go ahead and make our own power tap, but that's okay. So this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. Now these need both need power, obviously. And these are subject to move, so don't be attached to where they are. Just like them. All right, yep, there we go. And so we are going to have one coming in. One coming in here like so. And then we'll also have one. We'll also have one coming in here like so. That there, perfect. So once these get connected, they will allow us to automate our stuffs. Okay, so this one we're going to be, um, Nothing here. So power is gonna be on the right side. We're going to be inputting from the top and from the back and exporting out the bottom. So for this one, we're going to be almost doing the same. So energy is on the right. We're gonna be inputting from the top and outputting from the bottom. So this will turn our cobblestone into sand. Am I right? Cobble to sand, I could be wrong. Okay, so it'll turn our gravel into sand, and then to make gravel, I think we can, yeah, crush her again, which will break it down into that. Okay, so we might need to actually add in uh, another one here. Gravel might work, it might not. Uh, but anyway, it, it will work for now. That's not the right cable. So we are going, actually, Okay, that goes there, this connects that guy, and this connects that guy, very cool. So all of that is pretty much set up. All we need to do is just run power, like so. All right, we need to find a good power source. Boom, okay. So these guys have got power down here. It is not the prettiest setup in the world, but that's not really what we care about, cool. So now if we go back all the way up, if we come over here to the crafting crafter manager. If we scroll down, we should see a break. Yep, ultimate smelting factory and ultimate crushing factory. Very, very cool. So if we switch over to processing, now we can go ahead and start to work on that. All right. So we can go ahead and put gravel, not like this. Go like that, gravel, and we can say we get glass from this process because it will go through the system there. 
Okay, we need to get rid of that. All right, so now if we put this, let's see, do, 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 crushing, like so. So we take all the glass out. As you can see, we can craft it up. Let's have a look. Now this is all, obviously we need to upgrade these guys down here. But let's see how we're doing. Yes, look at that. Ultimate crushing. These are backwards. All right, let's have a look now that we've fixed that problem. All right. Eject on. If we look here, yes. Look at that. They're being smelted. Bam, we have glass kind of automated. Now we just, this is very temporary because we're going to set up a stone working factory later on and that will just automatically produce it. It'll be a cakewalk. But all right, guys, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. We went ahead and set up auto crafting and refined storage. Went ahead and got some mechanism machines, auto producing. We got glass going. We are going to be working on getting these guys over here set up in an episode or two. Uh, I do want to go ahead and get the enriching process. Whoops, sorry. I wanted to get oh, want to get the enriching process automated. But guys, that's gonna wrap up the, the that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm gonna do some work in this room off camera. I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoy it. Peace out. Bye bye. Check out that 